Hey, this video is about an update to one of my previous videos. It's actually my most popular video on my channel by far. And um, it has nothing to do with these knives or guns or uh, survival gear or anything of the such. Uh, kind of gives, you know, gives you some perspective of just generally what people look at on YouTube and it's not this stuff necessarily and I love the community that we're in you know the people that are passionate about gear and outdoors and survival and all these kinds of things and in fact here's a couple of knives that I haven't shown you guys before Becker BK2 and my Becker BK9 great knives um, they'll come up with a review and these are you know some of these are pretty well used and these are sort of the workhorse in my collection especially the BK2 um, but this video is an update to my um, unboxing of my new laptop that's right the HP DV or what's the model? D60-6000. This guy right here. If you remember, I bought a new laptop and I did an unboxing. Um, I ordered it from HP directly, and um, the specs were um, quad core, two gigahertz core. Uh, is the i7 processor with um, I believe uh, the Radeon the or the AMD Radeon video chip and whole nine yards uh, it was a really nice machine and still is a real nice machine as a matter of fact um, I had it for about two and a half months but I had I have issues with it I'm sending it back and it's in here it's going back to HP for um, warranty repair it's something that I've been experiencing pretty much since day one and um, something that had bothered me and I was hoping that it would go away I was hoping it was a software issue so I went through a bunch of different uh, reinstallations of software uninstallation of software to see if I can narrow it down but what it came down is that it was just it was just random there was nothing I could do I called them up I did some research on the internet uh, found some other people with the same problem and the problem I was having was basically that it would just freeze randomly I would be working along working along working along doing stuff and um, I could be scrolling through a web page I could be working in a program or it could just be sitting there and the complete uh, system would just freeze no blue screen of death no um, you know no message no crash no visible crash the whole thing would just freeze everything you know would just stop responding keyboard buttons mouse you know everything the only way to shut it off was to uh, press and hold the power key until it shuts off or you know if you didn't do that you could just unplug it and take the battery out and that'll shut it off I mean obviously that is not the way you want to shut off your computer because every time I do that when I reboot I gotta boot it up into safe mode and then restart from safe mode into regular mode and in the process I lose a lot of my work along the way and I do use this computer for work so that was a huge pain um, so I emailed them HP and told them about my problem and within like 20 minutes they wrote back and said um, okay try this or try that it could be an issue with your power management software so reinstall that and if that doesn't work send it back it's a hardware issue so I think they are aware of these issues that people are having um, because it's a relatively new model again the model is HP D60-6000 um, it's an i7 processor running Windows 7 home premium I mean, aside from that problem, I love the machine. It's screaming. I mean, it's screaming fast. It's faster by 
at least twofold from any other computer I've ever had. And my last computer was like a, uh, I want to say it was a Core Duo uh, or Core 2 Duo 2.4 gigahertz uh, Dell, which which I'm having to use now. I have to fall back to that while this thing is going to be repaired. So I don't know how long this is going to be gone for. Um, the return process is so far relatively easy. They sent me this box. They paid to send this box to me. And inside the box they have all the paperwork on what to do and they give you instructions on what to do, what to send back and how to pack this thing so it's safe. Uh, and they give you a prepaid label that you slap on here and you just drop it off at any FedEx Dropbox uh, or I'm assuming you can drop it off at a Kinko since they're all owned by FedEx now too. So that's where this is going and um, hopefully the repair process is relatively quick. Um, I don't expect it to be just because you know they may be backed up or for whatever reason uh, so I'm fully prepared to use my old computer, you know, for the next couple of months if I have to. But that's the update with this computer. It's a great computer when it does work. And while it does work, it's a great computer. And I love Windows 7 compared to Windows Vista, which is what I have on my Dell. And I'm having to go, having to go back to that now. Windows 7 is a, is a great platform. Um, compared to Windows Vista, it's kind of like... Uh, XP versus Windows Millennium, you know, it's that kind of a thing. Much more polished, much more robust. So, I want to give you guys an update. Some of my uh, viewers, not necessarily my primary audience, have been asking about an update for the for the new laptop that I got. By the way, this computer in this configuration is an awesome video editing machine. I don't edit my videos much. I try to do it all in one shot, but when I do have to edit and when I do have to compress the videos down to this down to a suitable format for uploading, this machine does it just incredibly fast. So, I'm going to miss it uh and I hope it gets back to me quickly. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to deal with it. It does gives me I mean it it gives me hesitation on ordering another HP. Um however, you know, all of my other computers have had some kind of problem one way or the other. I mean, I've owned computers from HP, from Dell, from Apple, uh, from Sony, you know, from uh, all different manufacturers. And none of them have been flawless. Even Apple. I've owned a handful of Apple um, going all the way back to, uh, you know, the original iMac. Uh, even before that, years ago, the Apple II. But... Um, I'm primarily a Windows guy for the kind of work that I do, so my uh, my Macs now that I'm using my Macs for just for leisure. So expect reviews to come up on these knives, and expect to hear uh, from me about this the resolution of this computer relatively soon. I hope. Otherwise, um, you know, maybe I'll be uh, out shopping for a new computer. Alright, thanks for watching.